Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Factorio sending supporters to space, and uh, I'm saving, apparently. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting here, I've been AFKing for about five hours, and we have gathered quite a few modules and attacks, apparently. Um, so if we look over here, we have nearly 4,000 productivity modules and nearly 3,500 speed modules, so we're slowly getting there. And uh, I have decided, I made a fairly drastic decision. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you recall, when I was demonstrating uh, the switcheroo initially, I had discussed putting it here and comments suggested that that would be a good idea and I agreed at the time. However, I'm rethinking that. I like it here because this is very much a good area. Um, however, I'd have to pretty much tear up and move all the module stuff or wait until it's done. Um, and that's still going to be a while, uh, but the switcheroo itself doesn't require any modules, so I'd like to actually get that built, um, and we can keep our module thing running at the same time, right? So, uh, what I'd like to do is get it built, and I can't do that while this is here, so I think I'm going to actually build it over here. Um, it's a little bit awkward because there's some lakes and stuff in the way. We're going to have to do some uh, landfilling, potentially, um, and clear some stuff. I'm hoping, my main concern is if it's going to fit width-wise um, between this rail and this lake. That is actually the main concern. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down there. Um, I'm going to grab some nukes. We're going to nuke a few biters. I've already cleared quite a few, so this shouldn't take very long. Um, we're going to nuke a bunch of trees, too. Uh, and then I've grabbed landfill that I've set up to make, and we're going to landfill as much as we can of some stuff that may be in the way. And I swear I'm going to kill these biters and all their families. Um, and uh, then we're gonna try to place down the switcher. Now this is going to um, disable achievements for me and I'm gonna have to have Can use his magic to re-enable them because um, I have to use a command to zoom out. Otherwise, <laughs> we're gonna have the same incident that we had last time where I have no idea where it's actually placing fully. Um, and the map view is actually still not big enough, like zooming in. This is actually not really any more. In fact, it's less. You saw I zoomed out a little bit there when I went back to my character. The map view place is actually less, it seems, than the character view normally. Um, so that's a little bit uh, frustrating, but, you know, it is what it is. It's probably, <laughs> I'm not sure the map view is meant to be placing blueprints the size of an entire base. So, you know, there's that. So we're going to just nuke these guys out of here. Um, and almost kill myself in the process. These lasers, man. I've, uh, gotten rid of all my- well, not gotten rid of, I've taken my robot ports out temporarily and, uh, put in the lasers. And these things, man, these things- I know I've said this before, but I am continually impressed by how well these do. I'm just gonna nuke them, of course. Ah, I get wrecked. Alright, so that should do that. Now, of course, when we place this, uh, it will mark trees for deconstruction. So I suppose we don't have to entirely clear the forest. Because um, what we could do then is it's going to obviously place... It's going to clear the forest where it needs to place stuff. And then everywhere else I could just use... <clears throat> excuse me, use the filter deconstruction planner and just do it that way. Um, this is actually quite a bit of trees to nuke now that I'm looking at it. This was the one problem with over here is it is very uh, tree heavy which is a bit of a pain, but like I said, um, you know, I'd like to be able to keep my modules running, you know, while we place the switch room, we can actually start building the smelters. I built up, um, a higher stockpile of furnaces and beacons and stuff in the main base, you know, so we can kind of start doing some, getting some smelters built and stuff and actually start on that type of stuff. So I'm just going to clear these dudes out. Um, apparently... <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, this was from a stream um, quite a while ago, much earlier on in the series when I was exploring out for stuff, and it's actually funny for two reasons. Um, first of all, as I remember when I came out this far, I thought I was really far out, um, when really in comparison it's not. Uh, and then also it's funny because this is where I panicked and almost died, and uh, I had no weapons or anything, so I was just like... I was just panic placing wall to try to stop or slow down the biters. Um, and wow, we have a little trail here of friends. All right. So I'm just going to kind of try to clear 
everything in this general vicinity. I almost just nuked myself. <laughs> I was about to press the key and then luckily switched. So I'm just trying to clear out some room here for us. That should about do it. It's not really vertical room that I'm worried about. I'm just trying to clear them out of the general area so we don't get attacked in the process. And uh, I could have done this off camera, but I mean, come on, it's, it's nuking. I don't, I saw someone commented that like, they didn't like the episodes that included nuking and all kind of other things that were not helpful. Um, it's like, I mean, really, I think the nuking is quite fun. Obviously not for like entire episodes, one after the other after the other, but this is just a couple minutes. Um, like I said, I'd already killed quite a few um, beforehand, and uh, this should just about do it right there. Oh, kill him, and then we just need to throw down a little bit of landfill, and we'll place the blueprint, and hope for the best. I'm going to save before I do so, because <laughs> if something goes horribly wrong, I would like to be able to revert it without having to, uh, you know, do a massive deconstruct or something. So, if we look, really... Width-wise, this is actually our widest point. Well, actually, up here is our widest point, but that gives us, like, no room for smelters. Um, of course, once we get this smelter up, this base is not going to be here, uh, but we would still need to probably landfill part of this and such and parts of this, so I would like to place it farther down. Like I said, down here is kind of our widest point, almost. Um, so we're going to just try to fill in parts of these lakes that could potentially be in the way. Uh, let's see. I need to go up. Up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really disoriented in where I am. So, do this, and of course I don't have the materials on me. I did increase our stockpiles of all the materials we will need for the switcheroo, um, but I couldn't, even, even if I cleared out my inventory completely, I wouldn't be able to bring them all. It requires like 8k tracks and like 750 rail signals and a lot of stuff. Wow. Well then. Probably should have <laughs> started elsewhere. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to save, because I do want to keep this progress. We're then going to use a command to zoom out, which is going to disable stuff. Game.player.zoom equals 0 0.1. We're being attacked. That's fantastic. Should probably actually check this out. I think I put that there. Uh, oh, great. Come on, game. Let's copy this. Go out of map view. Do this, not that. This. And my achievements, just uh, for anyone who doesn't know, um, when you use a command, it does disable them, so I'm gonna have to have them re enabled. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not sure if this is big enough. When I did my switcheroo demonstration video, I was zoomed out all the way. Even then, I'm not sure I can actually see it entirely. Dear God. Well, it's close enough. It's an... <laughs> 19 FPS. I'm sorry, YouTube. Um, really, the important thing is that I don't hit the track on the left and I don't hit a lake on the right. And at this point, I can't tell where the hell anything is, so I'm just going to go this way to make sure that I don't hit the track. In fact, I want to give myself plenty of room. Pray. I need to come down a little bit. Or a lot. Ooh, you stupid rock. And uh, we are going to hope for the best. Actually, I could come down farther, couldn't I? Um, because I will eventually landfill parts of that lake, so... If I go, like... There. So we know that's pretty much good on the left. Um, because that gives us room to bring out rails, and this rail is probably gonna move, honestly. Um, it would probably scooch to the left and become a four-way anyway. So that's not that big of a deal. Um, and then, so you can actually kind of see it better in its entirety here. I'm going to stay zoomed out so I can check. And as I suspected, this will not work. Huh. 
Uh, because, uh, yeah, um, in fact, it would actually be shit. Um, wow. Yeah, this is not wide enough. <laughs> this is not wide enough. Um, and that was our widest point, too. It almost has to go up here. That's awkward. Um, it's mostly, this is pretty close. It's mostly the stacker. And actually we'd be okay if I just landfilled this area. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to reload the save um, because that's probably quicker than to do a deconstruct thing. So do that. Um, wow, that's really annoying. Okay, so it looks like though if I brought, okay, if I brought it down a little bit more, um, we did have a bit of a wider section, like right in here. So I'm gonna go grab a little bit more landfill, and uh, hopefully we can position it better. I don't try to think if I can zoom out farther. I think I can zoom out farther than point one, but. I, <laughs> As you saw, my FPS dropped massively even at 0.1. I'm not sure how the game would like even larger than that. We'll give it a try though, right? It's an experiment. So that's pretty much our objective today is get this place. You know, I know it's not any actual building. We may start actually building it, depending if I can get it on the second try. But I figured you guys would like to actually see where I place it and stuff. And rather than just coming in an episode and me just being like, oh, by the way, I built the whole switcheroo. <laughs> um, so I figured you guys would want to see that and let me just grab some landfill in fact I yeah it's gonna say I could grab rails and stuff but I pretty much just want to fill my inventory with landfill quite sure what's happening there not even sure what that was for So this landfill should be cranking away somewhere. I need to more faster it. Oh my gosh, dude, there's like none here. This landfill is so expensive or slow. Really, it's just slow <laughs> is what it is. It's just slow. Um, what I could do. In fact, let's just, uh, let's just go hog wild here. Alright, so I just need to fill in that little bit of, like, pond now that it is, um, above the lake, and then hopefully get this working. It's really deceiving how wide it is, like, in the test world, right, in the test world where we made it, um, you know, there's no really identifiers of, of, of borders or anything, because the whole world was just a concrete world, um, and there were no lakes or resource patches or anything else. So it's really deceiving when I actually put it into a world with buildings and, uh, well, I mean other buildings and lakes and other rails and stuff in the way. It is really deceiving how damn big the thing actually is. So we're going to come down and kill the worm first so he's not taking pot shots at us while we're trying to build this. And I am fairly limited on this landfill, so I need to be pretty strategic. And I know there is a trick to save landfill. I don't really feel like doing that because it's pretty tedious. Um, just pretty much do that. Uh, and then... Do that. So then I'd like to try to fill in this bit here. Stop. Jesus, dude. I put turrets like everywhere I can put a damn turret I swear well we're gonna have to go deal with that at some point I've put turrets like everywhere um so if I fill this uh, it's like no room okay if I fill this bit in how are we doing it's our last bit of landfill here that's it well I might as well go over there and try to deal with stuff I'm gonna kill all their friends on the way because they pissed me off Screw you guys. And your friends. That's what you get. 
I put turrets like they've attacked in so many different spots and I put turrets everywhere they've attacked. Um, I'm ready to almost just turn them off. Or just be more proactive about killing them, I guess, but... I don't know. Alright. So, we will gonna, we are gonna get the switcheroo blueprint placed, alright? I'm gonna do that, but the problem is... Is they killed all kinds of pipe and stuff, which is gonna stop my water flow, which is gonna stop other stuff. I do have laser turrets on me, which I'll put down there yet again. Um, where am I going? Up here. It's weird, when you zoom out, the red wire doesn't render for some reason. Um, is this my tank with beacons and stuff? I think so. I can actually take that over there. It has tons of rail and such. Alright, you idiot bugs. Alright. Alright, dudes. I dare you to come over here and attack this again. So you started back here and then like moved up there. In fact, I'm just going to place uh, some power poles throughout here and just laser the hell out of it. Oh. No. Okay, there we go. Luckily, this was pretty close to our work site. Take our report out again because I would prefer my robots to not start building the switcheroo. Um, and we are making progress. We're it's not that far off. Um, like I said, maybe another day of me AFK module grinding and I should be pretty good. We actually have pretty much enough, almost, to um, 12 times 4. We actually do have enough modules. I did 12 times 4 to figure out the amount of beacons I need. Um, we actually pretty much do have enough modules to build the entire uh, iron smelter. Of course, that doesn't account for the copper smelter or the steel smelter. Um, those will be smaller, of course. Well, steel will be almost equivalent. Uh, but, now if I, okay, so this, we're up here. I mean, I could put it up here. This would give us more width room. The problem is the smelters are going to extend, like, through here, which is probably going to end up being even more landfill than uh, down below. And I know you guys are probably going to complain that did too much running around this episode and I didn't get anything done. Well, you know what? <laughs> I honestly at this point don't care. Um, I do care and I don't mean to like be rude, but it's like I did prepare for this. I set up landfill beforehand and it was making and I cleared biters and stuff. And you know what? Not everything's perfect, right? <laughs> you know, not everything's perfect. I didn't get it the first try. Um, I didn't expect to get it the first try. We had to reload and go get some landfill. That's the nature of the game. So, it is what it is, alright? Um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and use this guy again. I wonder, like, I mean, let, let's see. If we go, like, 0 0.08. Oh, I can't actually zoom farther. Oh, so it's actually the blueprint that drops my FPS, not the, uh, not the zoom. It's like a little teeny dot. Uh, okay, so let's take him. I still can't see the whole point. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez, okay. Uh, I can kind of see the edge of it. Uh, can we go one more? There we go. Oh, you got to be kidding me, dude. Oh, it's so close. Uh, I can't actually tell. Am I on the frickin' landfill or not? Okay, like I said, that rail would move, so that's not that big of a deal. That rail would move, this thing, the stacker is on land pretty much. Except for right there. Could do that, and he would be on land, I think, everywhere. And then that, of course the rails are gonna be a little wonky over there, but again, they will move. And that should do it. There we go. That's the switcheroo. It's freaking huge. <laughs> That's what we're doing here. This is what this is. This is 
Right, and as I zoom in, it's even more amplified. So there we go. Um, and we're going to have to clear all the trees and crap. I actually can turn on my bots at this point. Uh, maybe. I think they're going to be placing the signals and stuff, which I don't particularly want. So I'm going to temporarily trash my signals and my stations because I don't really want any of that built. Literally all I want them to do is clear the trees that are in the way. Um, same with my roboports if I happen to have any. I don't want them placing those. I don't want them placing inserters or well, inserters or chests. Hopefully that's everything. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I didn't think I had any rail. I guess that's not that big of a deal. So what, what, what about what about no row of ports? Did you not understand? Dudes, hey! Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I guess I missed chess. That's my bad. I mean, it, we need to build it anyway, but... Alright, dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could you clear the trees? That's... Could you, could you just... That's what I'd like, alright? Just clear the damn trees. And then what we'll do is we will later come in here. Um, pretty much what I'll do, I think, is put on a build suit. I'll create a build suit that is literally just like a fusion reactor and several Mark II batteries and a couple exoskeletons and then just full of roboports and just make like 150 construction, 200 or something, and uh, just... Uh, filter the doohickey, the deconstruction planner, to clear only trees and rocks, and I'll just clear this entire area. I could poison capsule, but the amount of poison capsules required for this would be a bit insane. Um, it, it would actually probably be easier and faster, believe it or not, to use the bots. Um, and this thing, like I said, if you watch the demonstration video when I first talked about it, you probably have a fairly decent idea of how it works. Um, but it will be easier for me to explain. jeez. Oh, you idiots. Great. Um, it will be easier for me to explain probably um, once it's actually built. Could, could you just... Could you frickin... Stop. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't like it. So there we go. Switcheroo is placed. I think that's a good spot. So this stops here. And then the smelters, uh, again, this rail would move. We're going to landfill more of this once I actually get landfill. Um, so the smelters would come up, uh, like the smelter trains would come out from here and come up. And then we may be able to fit smelters because I'm like at the top of this. So the smelters could realistically start up here somewhere. Maybe we could fit them up to here. I'm not sure. No way. Yeah, like I said, the uh, scaling, the space scale of things is very deceiving when you're in a creative world compared to a uh, normal world here. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. Like I said, you know, I didn't get any building done. We got switch replaced. That is a big accomplishment in my mind. Um, and then I'll just probably clear the trees and maybe build it off camera. But I did want to show you the placing of it and the planning and such. And, uh, yeah, that should pretty much do it. I'm going to grind out some more modules, but we were getting quite close. We are actually fairly close. Um, it really just requires some AFK grinding, which to you guys seems like, I mean, you know, you didn't have to watch the 12 hours of me just literally AFKing and doing chores or whatever while I grind the modules. So, anyway, thanks as always, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed, even though there wasn't any actual building, uh, but... I look forward to next episode, and I hope you do too, where we actually get to build a switch room, maybe start on some smelters. But if you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like. I'd love to hear your thoughts, as always, in the comments. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.